Now we will look at the surface integral. Uh, in surface integral d sigma dot product with v. So this is our differential area vector. And here we have to consider uh, all the area vectors that belong to this surface. So this will be uh, d sigma 1 v1 plus d sigma 2 v2 plus d sigma 3 v3. And d sigma i here is the component of the differential area vector on uh, the qi hat, uh, qi axis. Now the sign is going to be determined by, for this uh, that product, the surface orientation. So we have to make sure that the area vector always points normal to the surface and uh, pointing outside. Okay, so for example, let's take a look at this. Uh, we, we would like to determine the uh, differential area vector for area 3 when we are on the top of the surface. Okay, now you can see that the uh, two side lengths are h1 uh, dq1 and h2 dq2, but h1 and h2 are evaluated at q3 plus dq3. So uh, for the top surface, we have uh, the area vector pointing in q3 hat direction, so that it's away from the uh, volume, so it's pointing outside. So the area vector is going to be dq1 dq2 h1 h2 in q3 hat direction but uh, the scale factors are evaluated at q1 q2 and q3 plus dq3 so that it's the top surface if i look at the bottom now the area vector has to point in minus q3 hat direction so it's the same thing uh, with a minus sign minus dq1, dq2, h1, h2 in q3 hat direction. Now the scale factors are evaluated at q1, q2, q3 because we are at the bottom surface. So this is q1, q2, q3. All right, so for the uh, top, if we have the d sigma dot v, uh, we can write it as for the top part of this integral uh, dq1 dq2 h1 h2 because this is q3 hat dot product with v we have to take the component of v on the uh, q3 axis and as for the bottom part we would have integral on the bottom surface uh, minus dq1 dq2 h1 h2 it's again q3 hat dot product with uh, v, v so we will have the component of vector v on the q3 axis now uh, we could also look at the left uh, left side here now you can see that we have h2 dq2 and uh, h3 dq3 and now you can see one side is uh, one corner of this is at q1 q2 q3 so i don't have to evaluate it anywhere else so this is going to be an integral now what is the orientation of this area vector it's in uh, minus q1 hat direction so we're going to have a minus sign here this is for the left dq2 dq3 h2 h3 v1 so it's in minus uh, q1 hat direction so it's minus v1 okay and as for the right uh, side here I'm going to have the area vector pointing in q1 hat direction so this is going to be a positive uh, dot product so integral 
for the right surface is now you can see I have uh, one side is equal to h2 dq2 the other side is equal to h3 dq3 but this doesn't have the origin uh, in it so this has to be evaluated at q1 plus, uh, plus dq1 right so I'm that's where I am so uh, the for the right hand side I'm going to have dq2 dq3 h2 h3 v1 where h2 and h3 are evaluated for this uh, surface where it's at q1 plus dq1 now the procedure is the same for the front surface and the back surface uh, so no need to repeat that so this is basically how i'm going to deal with the surface integrals so once again the surface integral d sigma dot v is going to have uh, contributions from all uh, parts of that surface and for each part i have to consider the sign of d sigma dot q i hat and the convention is that the area vector always points away from the surface so for the top d sigma top is h2 h1 dq1 dq2 but it evaluated at q3 plus dq3 q1 q2 for the left and right it's h3 dq3 h2 dq1 evaluated at q1 q2 q3 but for this one for the right one it is uh, at q1 plus dq1 q2 q3 uh, so i'm going to have h2 h3 dq2 dq3 the area vector points uh, away from the uh, volume so this is going to be in plus q1 hat direction this is in minus q1 hat direction this is in plus q3 hat and this is in minus q3 hat direction so i have to consider that so i have to pay attention to the sign of this uh, depending on the orientation of the surface the sign i have to put here and also where i should evaluate the scale factors for the given surface if it's on the right side this automatically implies i am not at q1 i'm at q1 plus dq1 so q2 q3 q1 plus dq1 is the point at which i have to evaluate the scale factors and the procedure is the same for the front surface and back surface